Well, as we approach Juneteenth, the day a Union General brought news of the Emancipation Proclamation to Galveston, we are commemorating the significance of that day. And I'm joined this morning by Annette Gordon-Reed. She is a Conroe native and also a Harvard professor and Pulitzer Prize winning author. You have a new book out called On Juneteenth, and this book really explains why Juneteenth is such an important date in history. What motivated you to write it? Well, I wanted to write a bit about my family because it's a family memoir and a memoir of the history of Texas as well. I wanted people to think about, people around the country to think about the holiday that meant a lot to me when I was growing up. And it's celebrated for folks who don't know on June 19th or sometimes it's the third Saturday in, in June, right? It's yes. not a federal holiday yet, maybe someday, but what do you want people to know about Juneteenth, Annette? Well, I want people to think about how the enslaved people felt when they heard the news in Texas that slavery was over. And the general order that Granger put out also talked about absolute equality, uh, the joy that these people felt, even though they understood that it was going to be a struggle. So it commemorates that feeling, the sort of last group of people who are emancipated after the end of the war. I mean, the war ended, uh, you know, the uh, Army of the Trans-Mississippi surrendered at the beginning of June. And so that was the end of the official armed conflict. And this was able to happen after that, after that day. So I want people to think about the sense of hope and the sense of faith that the people had that things would get better for them. And I read that you first became interested in history while in elementary school in Conroe back yes. in the, the 60s. What mm -hmm. experiences did you have that really shaped you and that you now write about in this book? Well, I had the, oppor the opportunity, responsibility, or you want to call it, of integrating our town school. I was the first black child to go to a white school. My parents were idealistic about the future, and they thought that this was a way to move forward. Uh, with an integrated society. So that heart started me thinking about why it was a big deal that a black child went to school with white uh, kids. And that made me think about history. Mm, and we're looking at some of your old family photos here. So for our viewers who are watching from Conroe, this was Anderson Elementary? Yes, Anderson Elementary School. And uh, my father took me every morning. And Mrs. Daughtry, my first grade teacher, who was wonderful to me, uh, was very, very helpful and treated me uh, as just any other student. Some of the kids were friendly, some of them were not friendly. But the teachers, and because my mother was a teacher, I think maybe that had something to do with it, uh, were very, very supportive. Hmm. And how did you celebrate Juneteenth, you know, growing up in Conroe, and how has that changed? Do you celebrate it any differently now? Well, I don't have barbecue. I live in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> I get barbecue in my apartment, no yard to do that. But when we were growing up, we had red soda water was the thing you were supposed to have. And uh, barbecue, sometimes people had barbecued goat. We didn't do that, but that was part of it. And in my family, we made tamales. Uh, my grandmother took to making tamales to raise money for the St. Luke's United Methodist Church to build a new church. And on holidays, people would place orders. So for Juneteenth, people would place orders for her tamales. And I remember as a little girl making them, it was kind of annoying. I wish I could, you know, I, I'd be out playing, but now I realize the value of being there with my mother and my grandmother and my, and my grandmother's sister making tamales for Juneteenth. Oh, what a tradition. Well, thank you so much for coming on, Annette Gordon-Reed, and sharing this. On Juneteenth is the book, and you can get it at anywhere books are sold, I'm assuming? Yes. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere. All righty. Well, thank you. You're an inspiration to a lot of folks uh, who are watching this morning. A Conroe native and a Pulitzer Prize winning <laughs> author. So exciting to have you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.